these are horse paddocks. Uh, the grass is just starting to bounce back. We've had a very dry summer, uh, so we're trying to look after our paddocks, not to graze too much. Before farming, I was scaffolding. Um, I've been in the mines for the last 12 years, off and on, and um, it's time to come home. I was only home 10 weeks of the year. Brendan said, uh, why don't you give farming a go? And I thought, oh, what am I going to do here? So I came here with my scaffold belt. I got thrown in a tractor. So the last seven months I've been studying, still learning. Uh, when I first looked at the paperwork, you know, it was like a deer in the headlight. I didn't know what I was looking at, but uh, I was told by someone, you look at something long enough, it'll come to you. And these are all our main horse paddocks down this side of H block. And then we've got the deer parks up around here. Got um, our compost heap down here in 24. And we're trying to revert to a more organic feature for the farm. You know, I don't think Brendan and Joe knew that what they were doing, but it looks like a horse. You see the ears, and they see the nose, and they come around. So it looks, reminds me of a horse's head. We've got these little calves in here just to keep our paddocks nice and pristine, not too heavy. So they're just gonna come through, take the tops off, make it nice and clean for the horses. I just love the challenge. It's a big massive change in career, but it's, uh, it's something I've become very fond of. I think they're starting to like me. At first I was a little bit nervous, you know, it was almost like a stare down. But uh, no, they're getting used to me as soon as they open the gates, they know it's uh, either moving time or feeding time. This is Mob 24, uh, 124. I try not to give them names because I don't know what's going to happen later on. Heavier mob. I've had a couple of shocks. I still haven't learned my lesson. <laughs> With a bit of rain and heavy dew, the dews count in about four mil of rain in the morning, so we're actually quite lucky compared to most of the country. We're counting our lucky stars that we've got a bit of growth coming back. So the grass growth is coming back about one, two, three, four tillers, and there's our dry matter. From a scaffold tube to a piece of grass, I didn't think uh, I'd be doing this at all. No, but I gave it a go. Uh, and I'm enjoying it, loving what I do. It's not really a job if you love what you're doing, and that's what I do. I love it.